Hi there, it's me, Clark the Dog, standing by this adverb button here in a word factory. Adverbs can add information to a sentence that can answer questions such as how, when, where, and to what extent. With one push, I can make a sentence come alive by adding an adverb. Here it goes. Oops, I, I didn't check the settings. The power was too high. I made the adverb come alive. Many adverbs end with the suffix ly. The y on the suffix ly makes a long e sound. It sounds like it says we, l-e-e. -E. Many adjectives become adverbs when the suffix ly is added. For example, the adjective soft becomes softly. Brave becomes bravely. Slow becomes slowly. And finally, final becomes finally. Not every ly word is an adverb. If you don't believe me, just ask a butterfly. An adverb can tell how. The snail moves slowly. The word moves in this sentence is a verb. The adverb slowly tells how the snail moves. An adverb can tell where. The cat dances beside the dog. The adverb beside tells where the cat is dancing. An adverb can tell when. It is snowing now. The adverb now tells when it is snowing. An adverb can tell to what extent. Adverbs such as totally, really, and very tell to what extent. The snow totally covered the dog. I really hope it melts very quickly. Adverbs add more details. The grammar word for adding details is the word modify. Adverbs modify verbs. Adverbs can modify adjectives too. The extremely hungry dog must go and eat. Hungry is an adjective that described the dog. The word extremely modifies the adjective hungry by telling to what extent the dog is hungry. An adverb can even modify another adverb. The dog will eat very soon. Soon is an adverb that tells when the dog will eat. The word very is an adverb that modifies the adverb soon. So, adverbs modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. Learning about adverbs sure works up an appetite. Now it's time for me to eat. I hope I get to my dog food dish before that cat.